Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International. I am Hamad Youssef. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received at Dhabiya Palace the Chinese State Councilor and Foreign Affairs Minister Wang Yi, who is currently on a visit to the kingdom. His Majesty expressed Bahrain's pride in its solid, long standing relations with China, noting that the two friendly countries' relations have been based on strong foundations of mutual trust and respect, as well as joint cooperation and coordination across all fields. Wang Yi conveyed to His Majesty greetings from the Chinese President Xi Jinping, as well as his wishes of further progress and prosperity to the people. Of Bahrain. His Majesty asked the Chinese Foreign Minister to convey his greetings to President Xi Jinping and wished of prog wishes of progress and prosperity to China and its friendly people. His Majesty reviewed with the Minister ways to bolster the Bahraini Chinese cooperation, particularly in the investments, economic, trade, and scientific fields, in addition to areas of bilateral coordination and joint action in order to achieve the common interests of the two countries and their people. His Majesty noted that the Kingdom attaches special interest to those ties and looks forward to enhancing enhancing cooperation with China at all levels, highlighting the promising investment opportunities provided by Bahrain across various vital sectors. His Majesty the King expressed appreciation for the important role played by China at the international level, thanks to its civilizational, political and economic weight lauding the Chinese expatriate community's role and good contributions to the Kingdom's economic and trade march. His Majesty also expressed Bahrain's appreciation for China's interest to achieving security and stability in the Middle East, addressing political and security challenges challenges, accelerating the pace of cooperation among the region's countries to achieve development and supporting the global economy. Referring to the latest developments of the global spread of the coronavirus and the efforts being exerted to contain its impacts, His Majesty the King praised the effective cooperation between the two countries, especially regarding the vaccination against COVID-19 and exchange of expertise. They also discussed the latest regional and global developments of mutual interest. The Chinese minister expressed thanks and appreciation to His Majesty the King for the warm welcome and hospitality according to him. He expressed pride in the efforts being made by His Majesty to enhance the Kingdom's relations with China, stressing that his country is interested in strengthening cooperation with Bahrain. He also lauded the role played by His Majesty the King in Bahrain's progress. His Majesty the King hosted a lunch banquet in honor of the Chinese Foreign Affairs Minister and his accompanying delegation. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa sent a cable of congratulations to His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa on the success of the 2021 Bahrain Grand Prix. His Majesty the King extended deepest congratulations to His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister and lauded his devotion in assuming his responsibility with utmost dedication, wishing him success in his efforts to achieve further prosperity for the kingdom. His Majesty the King also commended the dedicated efforts exerted by all government departments to attain such successes despite the negative impact of COVID-19 on sports activities in the world which earned Bahrain international praise. His Majesty had received a cable of congratulations from His Royal Highness on the success of the Formula One Grand Prix 2021 despite the global fallout of COVID-19 pandemic. His Royal Highness praised the Royal Directors since the outbreak of the pandemic which allowed Bahrain to excel in managing this health crisis and succeeding in hosting the race. His Royal Highness wished His Majesty the King abundant health and happiness and the Kingdom and its people for their progress and prosperity. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa sent a cable of condolences to the Emir of Kuwait, His Highness Sheikh Nawaf Al Ahmed Al Jabbar Al Sabah, on the passing of His Highness's sister Sheikh Noura Ahmed Al Jabbar Al Mubarak Al Sabah. His Majesty prayed to Allah the Almighty to rest the soul of the deceased in eternal peace. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received a telephone call from Saudi Arabia's Crown Prince, Deputy Prime Minister and Minister of Defense, His Royal Highness Prince Mohammed bin Salman bin Abdul Aziz Al Saud. The conversation covered the Saudi Crown Prince's announcement of the imminent launch of the Green Saudi and Green Middle East initiatives to face the economic and social challenges related to the environmental situation in the region and the world. The importance of the two initiatives in addressing the challenges through the world's largest project and boosting the contribution of clean energy and natural reserves in a way that contributes to achieving sustainable development in the region and enhancing the quality of life were also discussed. His Majesty the King expressed thanks to the Saudi Crown Prince for his initiatives and stressed Bahrain's readiness to support all efforts to achieve their goals. 
His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received a cable congratulations from National Guard Commander General His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Isa Al Khalifa on the success of the Formula One Grand Prix 2021. His Highness hailed the continued motorsport successes, which reflect His Majesty's support, paying tribute to His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa for his efforts. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received a cable of congratulations from BDF Commander in Chief Field Marshal Sheikh Khalifa bin Ahmed Al Khalifa on the success of the Formula One Grand Prix 2021. The BDF Commander in Chief expressed sincere congratulations to His Majesty the King on the Kingdom's great success and organizing the event despite the coronavirus pandemic and its impact on all global activities. He stressed that the success was thanks to the directives and follow up of His Majesty the King, which reflected Bahrain's standing internationally and added more economic, social, and media accomplishments. He prayed to Allah the Almighty to protect His Majesty the King, bless him with every success and bless Bahrain with constant security and more achievements. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received a cable of congratulations from Deputy Prime Minister Sheikh Khalid bin Abdullah Al Khalifa on the success of the Formula One Grand Prix 2021. He praised the achievement despite the current circumstances, which reflects the keenness of the people of Bahrain to accord another accomplishment for the kingdom. He wished His Majesty abundant health and further progress and prosperity for the kingdom and its people. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa sent a cable of condolences to the Emir of Kuwait, His Highness Sheikh Nawaf Al Ahmed Al Jabbar Al Sabah, on the passing of His Highness's sister, Sheikh Nouri Ahmed Al Jabbar Al Mbarak Al Sabah. His Royal Highness sent similar cables to the Crown Prince of Kuwait, His Highness Sheikh Mish'al Al Ahmed Al Jabbar Al Sabah, and to the Prime Minister of Kuwait, His Highness Sheikh Sabah Al Khalid Al Hamad Al Sabah. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa received a cable of congratulations from the Commander of the National Guard, His Highness General Sheikh Mohammed bin Isa Al Khalifa, on the success of the 2021 Formula One Grand Prix. His Highness commended the efforts of His Royal Highness, which contributed to the success of the global sporting event, despite the challenges presented by the global spread of COVID-19. His Highness added that the success of the international race will be added to Bahrain's many achievements in line with the kingdom's development, led by his Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa received a cable of congratulations from the BDF Commander in Chief Field Marshal Sheikh Khalifa bin Ahmed Al Khalifa on the success of the 2021 Formula One Grand Prix. The Commander in Chief expressed pride in the tremendous efforts exerted by His Royal Highness to ensure the outstanding organization of this year's race despite the unprecedented challenges presented by the global spread of COVID-19. The BDF Commander in Chief wished His Royal Highness further success in enhancing the kingdom's development under the leadership of His Majesty the King. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa visited the Bahrain International Circuit yesterday to meet the teams and spectators before the start of the 2021 Formula One Grand Prix. His Royal Highness praised Team Bahrain's efforts in ensuring this year's international race, which provides a thrilling spectacle spectacle whilst adhering to all important health and precautionary measures. He noted the kingdom's success as a global destination for hosting major international sporting events with experience in organizing and hosting Formula One races since 2004, strengthening Bahrain International Circuit's place within the F1 calendar. His Royal Highness added that success in hosting the Formula One races is motivation towards further achievements and supporting the kingdom's comprehensive development led by His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa. His Royal Highness concluded by expressing his gratitude to the dedicated staff, including organizers, medical staff, and military and security support personnel from across various government agencies who have once again ensured Bahrain continues to be the home of motorsports in the Middle East.
His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Mubarak Al Khalifa chaired the weekly cabinet meeting remotely. The cabinet congratulated His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa and His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa on the success of the Formula One Grand Prix 2021, praising the efforts of the organizing committees in ensuring the success despite the current circumstances of the coronavirus pandemic. The cabinet then discussed the phone call received by His Majesty the King from the Saudi Crown Prince, His Royal Highness Prince Mohammed bin Salman bin Abdul Aziz Al Saud and praise his launching of the Green Saudi and Green Middle East initiatives and praise His Majesty's keenness to support both initiatives to achieve their goals. The cabinet welcomed the initiative announced by Saudi Arabia to reach a comprehensive political solution in Yemen. The cabinet commended Saudi Arabia's efforts led by the custodian of the two holy mosques, King Salman bin Abdul Aziz Al Saud and the Crown Prince, His Royal Highness Prince Mohammed bin Salman bin Abdul Aziz Al Saud in supporting security, peace and regional international stability. The cabinet praised the success of Egypt's response to the sh shipping incident in the Suez Canal and expressed appreciation for Egypt's role in securing the stability of maritime trade lanes. The cabinet expressed its sincere condolences to the president, government and citizens of Egypt on the loss of life from the passenger train collision in the Sohar governorate and further wished those injured in the incident a speedy recovery. The cabinet discussed a number of memorandums during the meeting and approved the following memorandums. A memorandum of the Ministerial Committee for Legal and Legislative Affairs on the agreement between the government of Bahrain and the government of China on the mutual establishment of cultural centers, which aim to enrich and enhance cultural cooperation between the two countries. A memorandum of the Ministerial Committee for Legal Affairs on the executive program of the cultural agreements between the Bahrain Authority for Culture and Antiquities and the Ministry of China Culture, Antiquities and Tourism of China for the years 2021 to 2025 on enhancing bilateral cultural cooperation through joint cultural events and exhibitions and the exchange of delegations and experiences. A memorandum of the Ministerial Committee for Legal and Legislative Affairs regarding its views on a number of recommendations submitted by municipal councils to the Ministry of Works, Municipalities Affairs and Urban Planning. A memorandum of the Ministerial Committee for Legal and Legislative Affairs regarding government's responses to six proposals and two legislative proposals submitted by the Council of Representatives and a legislative proposal submitted by the Shura Council. The Cabinet then reviewed the following topic. A memorandum by the Minister of Cabinet Affairs regarding the executive status of a number of projects implemented within the framework of the Government Action Plan 2019-2022. The representative of His Majesty the King for Humanitarian Work and Youth Affairs, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, congratulated His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa and His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa on the success of the 2021 Formula One Grand Prix. His Highness stated that Bahrain, with the directors of His Majesty the King, has become a destination for hosting and organizing various sporting events, adding that the continuous follow-up of His Majesty to the F1 race contributed to its international success. His Highness added that the outstanding efforts of His Royal Highness and his close follow-up of all the preparations contributed to the excellent excellent organization of the race. He said that Bahrain has achieved many pioneering gains as a result of organizing the F1 race, which attracted the global media, which commended the measures taken by the kingdom to organize the race in light of the conditions imposed by the coronavirus pandemic. His Highness also hailed the efforts of the Bahrain International Circuit Board of Directors for its outstanding efforts in organizing the race amid precautionary measures and providing a number of entertaining programs and praising the young Bahraini cadres who organized and managed the race successfully. The first Deputy President of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports and President of Bahrain Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Khaled bin Hamad Al Khalifa, congratulated His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa and His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa on the success of the 2021 Formula One Grand Prix. His Highness affirmed that a new achievement has been added to the series of successes made by the Kingdom by hosting and organizing this global annual race. He added that Bahrain's hosting of the opening race of this season emphasizes Bahrain's excellence excellence at the organiza organizational and logistical levels during the global circumstances imposed by the COVID-19 pandemic. He noted the vital role of His Royal Highness to raise Bahrain's global sports status through his outstanding efforts in supporting and hosting of this race in Bahrain. His Highness hailed the efforts of Bahrain Motor Federation and cooperation with Bahrain International Circuit toward the success of the race. He congratulated Mercedes to team driver Lewis Hamilton for winning first place, wishing the other drivers better luck in their upcoming participations. 
The Minister of Information Ali Rumehi congratulated His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa and His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa on the success of the Formula One Grand Prix 2021. The Minister praised the success of Bahrain in organizing the F1 race for the 17th year in light of the exceptional circumstances imposed by the coronavirus pandemic, which represents a global test testimony to Bahrain's excellence in hosting major global events and its leadership in promoting motorsports in the Middle East since the establishment of the Bahrain International Circuit with the vision of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister in 2004. He expressed thanks and appreciation to the security services for their sincere efforts in securing this international event and managing the traffic movement and the role of youth volunteers as well as the awareness of the masses in following precautionary and preventive measures in order to protect public health and all sa the safety of all. Romehi affirmed that the Kingdom's success in hosting and organizing the Formula One is a source of pride based on the wise vision of His Majesty the King in establishing security and stability and a modern and integrated infrastructure which reflects the growing international confidence in Team Bahrain under the leadership of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister. The Formula One Grand Gulf Air Bahrain Grand Prix 2021 concluded yesterday successfully, attracting a large audience while following complete precautionary and preventive measures. More on this report. The Kingdom of Bahrain hosted the Formula One Grand Prix 2021, attracting a large number of car race enthusiasts from around the world. In its last day, the event witnessed the attendance of officials, fans and tourists and many visitors from inside and outside the country. Uh, firstly, I would like to thank you for, your, for this invitation, for this interview. Uh, in terms of the event, actually we are enjoying uh, the atmosphere in, um, in uh, F1 area. Uh, actually, the organizer, it really, uh, we can't pass a uh, big thanks for them. During the pandemic, we established this event uh, with all this procedure. It's really, really, it's a great job. Bahrain proved its success in hosting the event, despite the current circumstances resulting from the pandemic, by following complete precautionary and preventive measures. Everything is... Um uh, going so far very good, okay, and uh, we are providing uh, checking the temperature at the main entrance um, and also making sure that uh, everybody who enters the uh, formula, okay, either is vaccinated or recovered cases and we are providing, uh, we can see that there is a social distancing between all of the uh, uh, people here uh, even though um, there is continuous sanitization okay, of um, the sitting area, the, di the dining area and the games as well. The event also witnessed a number of activities and colorful attractions that exceeded the expectations of visitors and fans. Our other event over there as well is the F1 uh, the simulator. So basically it's racing simulator where they get on the TV with the with the car racing uh, drive seat and everything and they try to record their best lap times on the Bahrain Grand Prix circuit. So that's what we're doing here today. Obviously we also give fans another opportunity which is the pick stop which basically they pose in front of the, an electronic screen and they choose their favorite F1 team. In hosting the Formula One Grand Prix 2021, the Kingdom of Bahrain made sure that all preventive and precautionary measures are in place to ensure the safety of all. Reporting for Bahrain International, I am Hamad Youssef. The Kingdom of Bahrain always seeks to further provide support and empowerment for women in all fields with the involvement of all public and private sectors. With the participation of the member of the Supreme Council for Women and head of Women's Fintech Committee, His Hi Her Highness Sheikha Hassa bin Khalifa Al Khalifa, STC Bahrain held a webinar on the role of Bahraini women in innovation and digital transformation fields, which focused on the effective and important role in accelerating digital transformation in the Kingdom. To speak more about this, we are joined by Chief Human Resources Officer at STC Bahrain, Ms. Sara Khunji. Hello and welcome, Ms. Sara. Uh, good evening, uh, Mohammed. Um, it gives me a great pleasure uh, to be here with you tonight uh, on our national TV. And thanks to you and the entire crew behind the scenes. The pleasure is all mine. Can you tell us more about the role of Bahraini women in the innovation and digital transformation fields and how are women more integrated in these sectors? Uh, definitely, Mohammed. Um, I would like to start by affirming that women are an integral part of the society. 
and their valuable contribution is vital, being at work, at home, and in society as a whole. Thus, the presence of highly qualified women contributes to the acceleration of the digital transformation that we all aspire for as a society and as an economy. With this affirmation, we strongly believe of the crucial role of women towards a promising future in the digital transformation journey, with their great abilities to face challenges and adapt to changes. And actually, I wouldn't be revealing a secret if I say Bahraini women have proven their distinguished capabilities in all industries and in all sectors. This is all driven by the capabilities and distinguished efforts by women continuing the strive to achieve further. This is absolutely a source of pride. Chief Human Resources Officer at STC Bahrain, Ms. Sara Khunji, thank you for joining us. The national vaccination campaign continues to witness a wide turnout of citizens and residents. The Ministry of Health announced that 487,640 had taken the first dose of the vaccine, while 248,077 had taken the second. The ministry renewed its call for the community to commit to all precautionary measures and take the initiative to register for the coronavirus vaccination. The Ministry of Health said today that the number of coronavirus cases reached 8,233 with 643 recoveries, 1,027 registered new cases and one death. 309 of the new registered cases are expatriates, 702 are contacts of active cases and 16 are travel related. The deceased was a 75-year-old male citizen. The ministry expresses its heartfelt condolences to the family of the deceased and urges everyone to comply with the guidelines issued by the National Task Force for Combating the Coronavirus.